I've been meaning to do this for a while, um, and it's uh, Monday morning. It's a bit wet and miserable, not that warm. I'm not hungover, so that's something, I suppose. Um, but nevertheless, seems like the opportune time to get this off my chest. So, the top five phrases in Britain right now that need banning from society, from language, from life. Because, quite frankly, they do my head in. And I know they do other people's head in, because we've had this discussion several times. It's cropped up now and again. So, where the top five phrases that need banning. Number five, straight in, new entry, and relatively new to the world, making memories. God, that does me head in. It's so saccharine sweet, isn't it? Oh, what are you doing? Somebody puts a photo up of them in the park with their kids, making memories. You're just in a park. You've took your kids to the park. They're on the swings. They're having a nice time. It's not making memories. It's just life. Oh, I'm in Disneyland making memories. No, you're not. You're in Disneyland paying too much for a fucking hamburger. That's what you're doing. That's not making memories. Well, it is making a memory. It's making a memory of I must smuggle my own food into uh, Disneyland. That's another video for another day. I became a food mule at Disneyland. Making memories my arse. Does my head in. Number four. And then this one prickles. I, I can feel the air standing up on the back of my neck already. Reach out. Hey, I'm going to get my colleague to reach out for you. It's obviously an American thing, and it's made its way over here, and it needs to piss off back over the Atlantic. We don't want it. We don't need it. It sounds stupid when British people say it, and quite frankly, if you are a British person and you're saying it, have a good hard look at yourself in the mirror. It's not on. It really isn't on. Um, excuse me, can you tell me what time the next train is? Hang on, I'll just reach out to my colleague. What are you going to do? Lean across the office with your arm and reach out and touch him? No, you're not, because that'll be sexual harassment. And in this day and age, you can't go reaching out and touching anybody. So no, you're not reaching out. You're not reaching anywhere here. You might reach for your phone, but it's not that far. Stop reaching out. You're not a member of the Four Tops. Stop reaching out. Right, number three. Again, come all the way over the Atlantic Ocean, this one has. 100%, no question, this is, that's another one actually, it's number six, 100%, I'm using it now, oh 100%, yeah, see, I'm doing it, I'm a victim of this, number three, you got this, oh, piss off, really, you got this, for a start, not a proper sentence, you have this, but no, you got this, you can't, you can't get this, You'll get this. Now you sound like Borat. Oh, then we laugh. See, doesn't work. You got this. Oh, I'm having a really hard time of it at the moment. You got this. Oh, oh God, I've got so much work on. You got this. No, stop it. You're not an American basketball player. This is not the third quarter, and we are not high-fiving. There is no need of you got this. Number two. Again. Okay. These are all American things that have made their way over here. It's the English language. It's not the American language. I know I've got a big fan base in America. There's at least 70 of you that watch these videos. I'm sorry, keep your language over there. We don't want it. We don't want your version of cheese either. Right, number two. And this is mainly for the under 30s. So if you've got kids, teenagers particularly, they're prone to this. It's like a disease for them. And it's to use the words I was like in every sentence. I was like, I'm going to go over there. And she was like, what are you going to do that for? And I was like, well, because I want to. And she was like, well, why didn't you reach out to her? And I was like, I don't want to reach out to her. And she was like, you got this. And I was like, no, I haven't got this. No, it started right with the word like. I was like, I was going to like go there, like. And I think that came from the only way is Essex where a load of thick twats went on telly and spoke crap. A um, bit like this. And like, I was going to do this like, and like, and like became a word that was used in every sentence, at least four times in every sentence. And I don't think they were putting commas in it, not even in their heads when they were doing it. Because they were like, just like doing it. And then all of a sudden it evolves into I was like, you were like what? 
What were you like? No, you weren't like it. You were actually doing it. I say this to the kids all the bloody time. And they're not kids, really. Youngest one's 17. Oldest is 21. So they should know better. I brought them up to speak proper. They got no excuses for this. But nevertheless, and yeah, I was like, and she was like, and I was like, no, you weren't like it. You just were it. I was teasy. Not I was like teasy. You weren't like teasy. You were teasy. I was like, what are you going to do? No, you just said, what are you going to do? I was like serves no purpose in that sentence whatsoever. You are merely wasting breath. And we only have a certain amount of breaths on this planet. Don't waste it on using the words I was like. But by far and away, this is number one in the charts. The one that grips my shit like no other. And I know I'm not alone in this. Jenksy, this is for you. Number one in the phrases that need banning from society right now. Can I get? It's not a sentence. Doesn't make sense. Not grammatically correct. And more importantly, it's just plain wrong. Every time you go and stand in a Greg's, you only need to be there for 30 seconds in that queue and somebody will say, and this is specific to Greg's, they have a long counter. Everyone stands behind the counter. Can I get a bacon roll and a coffee? No, you can't. And do you know why? Because you'd have to go around the counter to get it and you're not allowed around the counter because you don't work here. So you can't get it. That person can get it for you, but you can't get it. Can I get a bacon roll? No, because you can't go near the cooking equipment. Excuse me, can I have a bacon roll, please? Yes, I will get it for you. That works. Can I get does not work. Waitress comes over. Okay, are you ready to order? Yeah. Can I get the steak? No, you can't. What are you going to do? Go and get it from the fridge. Take it, put it on the griddle, cook it, put it on the plate, bring it out to yourself. No, you're not. So you're not getting it, are you? You're having it. You want it, but you can't get it. There you go. And that has sorted me out for the week. Happy Monday, readers. I'm going to go off into the world now, relaxed and ready to take it on. And I might even go into a Greg's. And this time, I won't feel like punching someone in the face if they say it. I'll just simply point them to this YouTube video and hope that they learn from it. Future my arse.